U.S. President George W. Bush and Japanese Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi met in Washington, D.C. to discuss concerns about North Korea's ambitions on testing a long-range missile. The two have had a close relationship since 2001. President Bush welcomed Prime Minister Koizumi as a good friend on Thursday. At an arrival ceremony at the White House, both leaders expressed their strong friendship, which began during a game of catch at Camp David in 2001. While Thursday's events included an arrival ceremony, a news conference, and a formal dinner, the highlight of the visit will be the joint trip to Graceland to tour the home of Elvis Presley. Koizumi is a big fan of Elvis. I thank the Prime Minister for coming to the White House. And I'm looking forward to joining him tomorrow at Graceland. <laughs> Officially, he's here to see the President. But I know the highlight of his visit will be paying his respects to the king. <laughs> Koizumi says that over the past five years, there has been no other world leader with whom he feels such heart-to-heart, -heart, deep friendship and trust with as Mr. Bush. Despite political risks at home, Koizumi even sent troops to Iraq in Japan's most dangerous overseas deployment since World War II. The two leaders are also in sync in their concerns about North Korea's nuclear ambitions. In a joint news conference after a meeting at the Oval Office, Bush warned North Korea against test firing a long-range missile and underscored concerns about its nuclear ambitions. Um, we, uh, the North Korean issue is one obviously that's got everybody's attention now, and uh, we discussed th this issue in length. We both agreed that it's very important for us to remain united in sending a clear message to the North Korean leader that, um, first of all, launching uh, the missile is unacceptable. There's been no briefings as to what's on top of the missile. He hadn't told anybody where the missile's going. Now, he has an obligation, it seems like to me and the Prime Minister, that there be a full briefing to those of us who are concerned about this issue as to what his intentions are. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You want to go? Yeah, please. In the first place, we need to approach the North Koreans not to launch Tepodon. Should they ever launch the missile, we would apply various pressures. And we discuss that. I believe it is best that I don't discuss what specific pressures we are talking about. As we approach the North Koreans, we shall maintain close coordination and cooperation with the United States.